Is it worth putting the run cam owl swift mini on the rodeo 110 well you can do it really simple and i mean really simple but it's not crash worthy uh if you crash you could probably crash a couple of times and get away with it but uh in the long run you will probably end up breaking the camera so i'm going to show you the quickest way that i did uh so here we go um, and I'll show you what it looks like. This is exactly what I've done here. Now, uh, you can see I've got two washers there. You don't need the washer there. Uh, these are the bolts that come with the run cam itself. And, uh, the swivel mechanism is put on there. And the, the wire is at the back. I put it under. And the only thing you do have to do, and this is the most important step here. Uh, is you have to switch the wires around. Uh, as you see it just now, it, the yellow wire, video signal wire, will be on where the uh, positive wire is. Uh, you need to lift the plastic little clips up with a, a needle and just gently pull and they will come out and just switch the uh, signal and red wire over. And... Uh, Basically, if you can see as well at the front, I've made it so that the, the holder is right at the tip, right at the edge here, uh, when that's bolted down. Now, you don't have to worry, the screws do not touch any of the metal components uh, here, I've checked that out. You could even put a little bit of black tape over there just to be in the safe side, but you don't need to. Uh, I've not even tested it myself um, because the reason why I'm doing this video is um, they've got another run cam Swift Micro coming out and that weighs like 5 grams or something. Now that will be the one that I do want to mod on to the Rodeo 110 but I've seen a couple of people already putting this camera on the quad with quite a lot of modifications and with this way doing it this way you don't need to do any apart from switching that signal wire over and the positive wire just to the board so keep it plug it in first switch the wire over and plug it in and that's you you're good you're not going to fry nothing don't worry about it and um put everything back together together now i'm going to put everything back together if you don't know how to disassemble anything here I, i'll put a link in the description of how you can take it apart but uh, all my videos are on my channel uh so i'm i'm, I'm just going to put it together and show you what it looks like together and the battery does indeed fit perfectly there okay so i'll be back in a moment now that's me get everything nice and well all plugged in you can see here the wires well there's a lot of wires it saves you soldering you can just bundle them in there but make sure you don't get them crushed when you're screwing the top part down and there's another thing as well you cannot put the two screws that are at the front of the top of the carbon fiber and you can only put the back two screws but that's fine because it is snug on there, I can tell you that much. It is really tight on there. That's why I says, can it be done? Yes. Is it worth it? No, because look where the camera is. Now, I'm going to, I'll plug it in in a minute for you. Also, um, you can see the wiring um, at the back here. Now, the battery will just sit nicely. It does just sit nicely. Let me just put it here and show you. I'm working in a tight space tonight. I've moved area. And so the battery does fit in there. As you can see, you do you do have a little bit of room. You have a little bit of oh, some off camera there. You have a little bit of room. Okay. Just a little bit. But if you're going to tilt the camera 
up you're going to have even more room but that's a quick and simple easy way to put a run cam swift mini onto your uh rodeo 110 like i said it is solidly stuck on there and i am going to plug it in just to show you that it does work and as you can see that's it plugged in i've got my goggles plugged in look you can see my hand moving there see my hand moving there yep that's it that's it all wired up and plugged in so it does work perfectly and there you have it the quick simple and easy way let me just unplug this because that will be beating away like crazy but there you have it the quick simple and easy way of how to um put the mini swift on the rodeo 110 um if you want to do it do it at your own risk like i says i'm going to take it off after i test it and uh, just wait for the micro swift that's coming out the run, run cam micro uh and uh mod that onto the rodeo 110 but uh yeah that's it all nice and lovely and i can tell you it's solidly stuck on there um yeah you see some strange things going about in this channel like um maybe toy quads and stuff like that i've been getting a lot of um manufacturers ask me to uh, review a product for them uh and i mean a lot so you might see some other stuff like or you might see repeated stuff like the same camera getting reviewed uh, but by a different company name that's only because they want me to do that for them and i'll happily do that for them i also have another channel that i've just opened it's called merch reviews uh, that deals with non-related rc stuff so i'll put the link in the description below and you can also have a look at that there's only two videos up there just now um I'm still really, really new to reviewing. I hope you guys stay with me because I'm only going to get better at reviewing. And, uh, well, that's what I want to do. I do want to do a lot of flying as well. That's my main goal. Brushless micro quadcopters, modding and flying. That's that's everything that I want to do. So, uh, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, happy flying.